oil that we're using is extra light tasting olive oil for frying and baking. I think I may use the entire bottle. Um, this is approximately um, one pint, which is 1.5 liters. Uh, we'll see, let's see. These are raw shrimp. They're easy peel, so that just means that the hull or their shell is it's slit, so it will easily come off. You know they're done when they start to turn pink. I'm adding some olive oil. Keep in mind, you know, you don't have to always use olive oil. You could use a margarine, you could use butter, you could use sesame oil, different types of oils. I'm adding uh, different types of peppers and onions to be sauteed to add to the shrimp fry rice. This particular pack of veggies uh, you can pick up at your local grocery store. Um, it's a mix of different peppers, bell peppers, sweet peppers, and onions, red onions. Um, it's a combination pack. Once my shrimp have cooked, I know they're done, I'm adding some olive oil. For the most part, they brown. The fish I'm cooking today is haddock. This is one pound of haddock. I'm gonna cut it into one, two, three. I've squeezed two lemons onto the two pounds of fish. This is exactly two pounds of haddock fish. I cut it up into smaller pieces. The next thing I'm going to do is add some cayenne pepper. Then I'm going to be ready to put it into the fish fry. Today we're using the Cajun seafood fry mix. This is a 10 ounce box. You could put this uh, mix in a bag, you could put it in a pan, a plate. It doesn't matter. Check both sides to make sure that there's batter on both sides of the fish. This piece is ready to go into the grease. The good thing about this is my rice is it's already fried on one side. So once I add it into the shrimp and I mix everything together, voila, we'll have our shrimp fried rice. You could prepare your rice however you like. Me personally, I always prepare my rice the same. I'm gonna turn my flame back on for my shrimp. I'm gonna add the fried rice to it. I'm gonna flip my fish over, see what it looks like on this side. Mmm, that looks good, right? Cooking pretty good. I'm gonna flip this piece over. That's cooking pretty good. I'll flip that piece over, cooking pretty good. All right. I just added all of my peppers and my onions to my rice. Now it's all cooking together. Once I've successfully added everything together, I'm gonna shut off my flame and it's ready to serve. The last thing, I can't call it shrimp fried rice without the soy sauce. So I'm gonna add some soy sauce. Not too much. But a few 
few squirts. The fish has been cooking for about 10 minutes on high. I know that it's done because the batter looks hard. My flame is up on high. I'm going to add, these are our French string beans, the thinner than the typical bean. I'm going to add a half a pound of green string beans to the French beans. The French string beans. So we have two different types of uh, string beans that we're cooking today. In a total, we are, we're cooking one pound. Now I'm going to cap it. I'm not adding anything. I'm just gonna let the, the them pretty much steam out and cook. That's how they're gonna cook. The string beans are done. They've cooked for about 20 minutes. The first thing I'm going to serve is the, the shrimp fried rice. The last piece that I'm going to introduce to my plate is the fried haddock fish. I enjoy fried haddock fish. My father um, loves to cook this. This is one of his favorite dishes, one of my favorite dishes that he cooks. So from my kitchen to yours, fried haddock, shrimp fried rice, green string beans.